Didn't want anybody to Well, we lost power uh, with the old storm here in Rockford. You need to pay the bill. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're doing the brake lines on the Oldsmobile wagon. We got some lights on over there and headlights of the old Silverado. Get some of these brake line fittings ready to go. All the lines are done, but two. Then we lost power, but still continuing to work on it. Everybody, just uh, probably gonna be the last update on the '84 Olds wagon. Got it uh, on the road late Friday night, like midnight, almost one in the morning, after the power went out, and uh, drove it some yesterday. Drove it to a car show today at the Rockford Speedway, and. Uh, a buddy of mine sent me a message with a trade deal for it, and I told him I'd do it. So, I'm currently driving it about 45 minutes to an hour uh, from Rockford to Wonder Lake to trade them. And uh, I can say it's been a good car. It's kind of wild how you can pull something out of a junkyard or just somebody's yard in general. Over the course of a few days, fix it up and get it back on the road. This car, I'm sure, has been off the road for, I think this plate said 2016 on the sticker, so I would assume right around then. And uh, got it back to my place. Did some brake lines, every one of the brake lines, roll of copper brake line, uh, front to back fuel lines, sending unit. Greased the caliper slides, got all the bleeders out, and a buddy of mine helped me pump the brakes Saturday night, or actually Friday night. And uh, yeah, here we are. Like I said, it's it sat for a long time, and it's on the road, going off to a new owner. It's all about that, you know. Even if you can't save them all, save what you can. Even if you just have to get her going and send her on to the new person that's that's the way to do it that's my idea i find these things and get them back on the road and find them a good owner so hey guys get out there grab some tools grab a fresh battery can of gas knock on some doors see what you can find until next time guys thanks well the wagon's out of my hands drove all the way here not a problem actually i lost a hubcap but Things happen. And then, right before I left here, get ready to leave, my buddy says, hey, the neighbor's got a wagon over here. 250 bucks, and it'll drive home. I said, no way, this thing's been sitting here since, since I came out here about a year ago, it's been in the same spot. Guy hops in with a key, fires right up. Paid him. I'm gonna head back over to Rockford. Got that loaded, that was the trade for the wagon. Now I got me a new wagon. All right, guys. Yeah, it's dark, but uh, $250 Volvo wagon. We're trucking right along, 60 miles an hour, half tank of gas, radio works, uh, bright headlights work. It's got a shake when you stop. Not bad for 250. Not too sure what I'm gonna do with it, but uh, couldn't pass it up.